So there I was, eating the asshole of an oversized tub of lard I met at a Trump rally, when all of a sudden, I get a text message from one of my sexy girlfriends telling me that I lost the Simeon Jimmy Short Film Festival, and that she and my other girlfriend are breaking up with me. Why did I lose? Because Simeon Jimmy accused me of swinging the vote! Son of a fucking bitch! Balance out people who... Like, use social media to vote. Well, that's what this guy did. And he has some sort of audience that went and to support him. I suffered through an emotional drought. I could either regain my confidence by killing innocent civilians, and also my exes, or by moving on and looking for love again. You guys know which one I chose. Me, being the observant Chad that I am, noticed that all signs pointed towards theater shootings nationwide following the release of this controversial movie about a virgin beta loser who goes Chad. There would be riots in the street, widespread panic, all because of the film's protagonist, as an in incel. This is going to be great. Rise up, gamers! Rise up, gamers! I ultimately decided that if everyone else was going to get their revenge on society for breaking up with them, then I would too. I'm going to show up to this movie the same way I did last time, with my assault rifle, trench coat, and handgun. I need to dress like a champ, because I know that if anything is going to happen at these Joker movies, it's going to be violence! Because I read so on the internet. And I will be the one to incite that violence! Or my name isn't. Cue the dubstep. Horror dubstep. Nicholas Croza! Initially, I planned on seeing this movie dressed in full Joker makeup. I had my orange wig and everything. But unfortunately, these stupid movie theaters put a nationwide ban on wearing masks or face paint to the movie. I, I got a, an anonymous mask I wanted to score, and my friends are going to wear some too. Yeah, we don't allow, like, mask or face paint or weapons. I guess this gamer is going to have to bring his gamer business somewhere else. You know what I feel, Chad? Yeah, um, Have a good one, gamer. Yeah, you too. Yep, you absolutely, my guy. So naturally, I needed the next best thing. A costume. I ultimately decided on a banana costume instead. I mean, what can I say? Monkeys like bananas. And this boogaloo would be bananas. I finally got to the theater to see Joker until I found a sign that ruined everything. But then I thought a little bit more about it on the way home. Wait a minute. Do the rules apply if I don't read the sign? No, they don't, kids. Hey, you want some? Hey, you want some? My uncle once told me that if you don't know the laws regarding a specific crime that you are committing, then you are not viable for any things that you do that are illegal. Just like how if a baby murders somebody, nobody's gonna be mad at that baby. Well, it just so happens that I'm a big fucking baby and I wanna kill some people. Matter of fact, if I wear these eye patches, then I'll be able to prove that my eyes were closed. God, I love living in a free country. They upped security for the Joker. They required that all bags coming into the facility were checked prior to the show. However, they didn't account for the fact that Nicholas Cruiser can go mission impossible. All I needed to do was sneak a bag into the theater earlier during the day during a children's movie. Oh, hi. Uh, just a question. Are you guys showing that, uh, the, the Holocaust documentary? Pause for a second. I should mention that this movie was great. I have never seen a better comedy. Hi there. I'd like two tickets to the Joker. It would be four, but my girlfriends left me. It wasn't long after that the movie actually started. Our horror movie ends here. Because the film filled my ass with a childlike sense of joy and wonder. Brian! What the fuck, man? Son, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? What the fuck? Is this thing loaded? <laughs> yeah, it's loaded. Let me show you a short clip to summarize my experiences. What do you get? I don't think so. When you cross a mentally ill loader with a society! Wow! I was so immersed by this awesome character, despite not being an incel, which can be proved by my Pornhub page, 
that I ultimately decided not to shoot up the movie. My emotions of despair and my willingness to commit evil were overrun by emotions of love. I love you, Joker. I really do. Jokin Phoenix's performance in this movie is by far the best of 2019. I'd go so far as to say it was better than Will Smith in Aladdin and definitely rivals Brie Larson's work in Captain Marvel. I'd say it's almost the best movie of the decade, only being beat out by Adam Sandler in Jack and Jill. I Jim. now understand how black people felt after Black Panther. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter that I didn't kill any innocent civilians at Joker, because I would still get my revenge on society by stabbing my ex-girlfriends at Frozen 2.